Hi, Misty. How can I help? That must be very hard for you. Feeling lost can be a challenging experience. Could you tell me about any particular events that may have led to your current feelings? So cute, right? Meet yeah. Zaya. It's a virtual robot that listens, reflects, and provides thoughtful remedies to enhance traditional therapy sessions. Cedar Sinai is behind this AI therapist. And Dr. Omir Laron is the co director of Cedar Sinai Virtual Medicine. He and his team created a program that software from scratch. Wow. It looks very cool. Thanks for joining us this morning Thank to you for talk having about me. it. Okay, so virtual reality therapy is becoming a thing. What can patients yeah. expect and how does it work? So a lot of people use just out of the box GPT as a therapist mm -hmm. and that we've seen that as very problematic. Uh, it's a system that always agrees with the patient and doesn't yeah. actually provide useful information. So we wanted to do the responsible thing and give people an, an alternative by doing a, a, creating a scientifically validated model specifically created with he mental health professionals and patients to allow them to uh, um, uh, be able to augment human therapy. We're not mm -hmm. trying to replace it, we're trying to augment it, mm -hmm. but in a way that is actually beneficial to the patient. That's, I've read in some magazines, I, I'm, I think we don't do a good job talking about death, which is something that's gonna impact all of us at some point in time, mm -hmm. and grief, and I, I'm a proponent of talking about these types of things. Yeah. And I've seen that in hospice care specifically, this can be really, really useful because patients don't like telling their family members what they want at end of life. They'd rather talk to something like this. Absolutely, we're actually creating uh, a new model, so interesting you say that, that is specifically geared towards talking to people with serious illness. Mm. Mm. Um, and about things that doctor, many doctors are uncomfortable talking to patients about. Because it's hard. Yeah, sure. And uh, so this system will talk to the patients about all these hard things, including their spiritual beliefs and what they actually want to get from uh, the time they have left. Mm -hmm. And send that report back to the doctor. So now the doctor is better equipped at uh, rec recommendations, whether that's hospice care or being at home yeah, with family because you know what the patient wants. Yeah. It's so interesting. Yeah. You are a psychiatrist. I understand you've been using this on patients and I understand from everything from pain to people who struggle with alcohol addiction. Mm -hmm. Talk about what you're hearing from patients who have tried Zaya. So patients, um, patients have loved it. Uh, we've published numerous papers showing that the feedback is very positive. And we're continually uh, working on the model, training the algorithm to be able to respond better to more things. So uh, we've tested this on addiction, depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, weight management. We're doing studies on sleep and trauma and PTSD. Mm. So we're trying to address many different elements. And again, just give people an alternative to the out of the box experience that we don't think is actually beneficial. So I wanna go back to something you said because it, you make a point, this is not meant to replace mm -hmm. human therapists by any Absolutely. means, but it's, a, it's something that could supplement or help uh, an actual therapist. Yeah, our most uh, uh, advanced models actually require that a human doctor prescribe it. Okay. So that uh, we're trying to be very careful in how we roll out of the technology and making sure there's a human in the loop. Mm -hmm. um, and the AI is not prescribing medication. It's not making medical decisions. Mm -hmm. That you is still up to, have to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's still up to the human doctor. So we need to make sure that it's been used responsibly, which is why we're rolling it out in a very careful way. Absolutely. Okay, so you've listed all the positives so far, but we have heard some issues mm -hmm. with emotional therapy chatbots mm -hmm. and other stories of it not going well or being harmful to patients. Have you seen any downsides and what are your concerns about stuff like that? So we've used it now on hundreds of patients. Mm -hmm. We put a lot of safeguards uh, into the system that don't exist in most other chatbots. And uh, we've been able to capture and prevent most of these negative outcomes. So. Uh, from what we've seen, uh, and this, of course this is in controlled settings, but uh, very positive feedback. And uh, we're co constantly working with mental health professionals to monitor and, and, and validate this scientifically to make sure we're not causing more harm than good. Mm. Well, and Shiva and I had the opportunity to try it yeah. this morning for a few minutes, right before the newscast. There we, we are. were a little rushed as we were doing it, but I, it, it was fascinating just to get the immediate feedback. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and you notice the avatar is like a very cute. Yeah, it was very cute. I think she we both went. Oh, she's so, she's cute. so cute. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, so we, to get it like that, we did a lot of A-B testing with live patients, making sure that uh, uh, most patients actually can open up to an avatar. Yeah. That was an open question. Can, can people actually open up and, right. and, and get 
a sense that this uh, AI system has some empathy. Right. Um, and the answer is surprisingly yes. People uh, do think that uh, uh, it has empathy and they were able to open up to it, actually faster than they can open up to a human. Wow. And when we asked them why, they said, well, it didn't really care about the color of my skin, it didn't judge me, I oh. didn't feel like um, it, it, it was, its patience was worn thin, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it has infinite patience, which yeah. is not a human quality. It's not in a hurry, it's got good bedside manner. Yeah. <laughs> it is actually really cool technology, so congratulations on creating that, and it seems to be helping a lot of people. Quickly, I'm a big name person. Zaya is a cool name, but it actually stands for something. Extended Artificial Intelligent Ally. Oh, wow, okay. okay. I thought it was a pretty name, <laughs> and then I read, like, oh, it actually has meaning. Dr. Gulran, thank you so much for yes, being with us. Thank this you morning. so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah.